pilot program. And now one prominent Buffalo lawmaker wants deputies to play by separate rules when they're in the Queen City. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Slauson found out, the county sheriff has different plans. They provide video of police interactions, body cameras, and now the Buffalo Common Council wants more of them. This is a way to continue to build trust. Buffalo Common Council President Darius Pridgen is asking the Erie County Sheriff's Office to provide deputies with body cameras so they can record any incident that occurs within city limits. I think this is when a government should work together so that the, when those officers need information that the public feels uh, more trust to cooperate. According to Erie County Sheriff Tim Howard, putting body cameras on deputies will be ineffective. In a statement, the sheriff's office said that Erie County deputies are not assigned to the city other than to patrol county buildings, none of which are intended to wear body cameras. Body cameras are something that the sheriff's office has been workshopping, but Sheriff Howard is questioning why they are being singled out, saying, quote, the sheriff is wondering why the Common Council chose only the ECSO and didn't include other agencies such as the New York State Police, DEA, HSI, and many others. But according to Council President Pridgen, this isn't about singling out as much as creating a safer environment. I don't want the issue to be about Darius Pridgen and the sheriff. I want it to be about the citizens, about the safety of the citizens, about the safety of the deputies, and that's where I'm going to keep it. As of now, it remains unclear if or when and Erie County Sheriff's deputies will be wearing body cameras at all, let alone in the city of Buffalo. Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.